Good morning, afternoon, or evening, dear yogis here at Yoga TX. My name is Echo. Thank you for being here with me again on a cold, rainy northern UK morning. <laughs> uh, today's practice. So what's happening for me and my body today and what I want to share is um, we wake up with different bodies each day. Some days we wake up and we're on top of the world and the body feels really great and we feel dynamic and energetic and we want to do really powerful practices. And some days we wake up and we feel like, oh, what has my body been through? And so after coming off tour for three months and traveling and constantly being in trains and buses and planes, I have a flare up on the right side of my body where my right hip is really hurting and there's some asymmetries. So I like to be kind and soft to my body in those instances and not push even if I want to be dynamic and wild, but to be really careful and cautious with this precious tool that I have. So today's practice is about slowing down. Today's practice is about tuning in. It's about listening to the whispers in life. So that being said, I encourage you to grab a block if you have one or a bolster to sit on. We're going to start sitting nice and long through the spine. Shut the eyes down. And let the head slowly roll in towards the chest. And then slowly let the head come up, rolling open and back bending a little bit here. And then inhale, bring the chest forward again, chin into chest, rolling in and rolling out. Nice and slow. Inhale, we roll in. And exhale, we roll up and open. Inhale. And exhale. And come back to neutral. Let's take an inhale, lengthen the arms up. And exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, reach the arms up. And exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, reach up. And exhale, hands to heart. Let the head drop in just a bit and find an intention. How could you be a bit softer with your body today? Tune in to any contractions, any tensions. What is your body asking for today? And let's begin. Open the eyes, hands down. Remove the block or the bolster and let's come into child's pose. Sitting back onto the heels, arms forward. Let the head drop down. You can let out any sighs and then allow the breath to move in and out of the nostrils. Humbling the body towards the earth. Forehead relaxing from side to side. And sometimes I like to in these moments when I'm really tucked into myself to say nice things to myself. So maybe there are some things that you really need to hear today. I can give some examples of what my body needs to hear. It's okay to slow down. You've done enough. You've given what you can give. Now let yourself receive. You are loved. You are perfect as you are. You need to not achieve anything today except for presence in your body. Let's peel the chest up and then to tabletop. Stretch the arms forward. Forehead to the earth, Anahatasana. Keep the hips over the, or the hips over the knees. So heart melting pose. 
creating some spaciousness in the arm lines. Inhale, tabletop. And inhale, reach the arm, the right arm up. Exhale, sweep the right arm underneath the left. Come down onto the right shoulder. Stretch the left arm forward. So coming in to thread the needle. You can stay right here or even bring the left leg out, left foot to meet the right hand, opening even deeper into the right shoulder. And if you topple over, you just come back in. This is one of those poses that's like, oh, sometimes the body allows it, sometimes it doesn't. And bring the left knee down, left hand back. Reach the right arm up and down to the ground. Inhale, lift the left arm. Exhale, reach underneath the body. Stretch the right arm forward. Pause here, opening into the left shoulder or bring that right foot out to meet the left hand. Creating a tripod, opening a bit more into the left shoulder. Looking up towards the ceiling underneath the right armpit, if you can. And bring the right knee down, right hand back. Reach the left arm up and down to the ground. Bring the hands forward. Tuck the toes, lift the hips back and up. Ah, downward facing dog. Pedal it out here if you need. Let the hips go from side to side. Ah, and sometimes it feels good to let the hips drop to one side and reach one arm forward, the top arm forward. You can play in your downward facing dog here, anything that your body is needing. And come back to center. Very slowly walk the feet forward to meet the hands. Take your time. Feet hip width distance. Take opposite elbows. Ragdoll here. Let the head drop in. Get nice and long through the back line of the body. Hands to the earth, take the feet wide, sink the hips down, and let's come into a yogi squat. If you have tea like me, feel free to take a sip. Elbows to the inside of the knees, nice and long through the spine. Mm. Rooibos tea is the best. So palms in to center, pressing the knees open. Bring the right hand to the outside of the right foot, left arm stretching up. So nice open across the chest. If you're a wild child this morning or afternoon, you can bend the left elbow, bring the left hand behind you, maybe reach for the right hand around that right knee, taking a bind, opening the heart space a bit more. And let go of the bind, reach up and down. Let's bring the left hand to the outside of the left knee, right arm stretching up and open. You can bend the right elbow, right hand around the right thigh. Meeting that left hand, open the chest if you take a bind. Unbind, left hand down and right hand down. Let's push to a forward fold with a bit wider legs fold in so we're not into a full wide proserita but a bit wider than the hips and heel toe the feet in 
So you're gonna lift the heel or lift the feet, bring the palms underneath the feet. Feet are still about hip width distance apart. Gorilla pose, let the head drop in. So nice and long through the back line of the body. And for those of you that are not feeling this today, if you've got a really tight back line, you could just simply forward fold. You can even use a couch cushion to bring the earth closer to you. If it's feeling a bit challenging to get the fingertips all the way down to the ground. And slowly bring the hands out from underneath the feet. And let's take an inhale, press into the feet, slowly lift the chest, let the arms hang. Come all the way up to standing and roll the shoulders back a few times. Create some space across the chest. Roll the shoulders forward. And come to standing. Take an inhale, reach the arms up. And exhale, bend the elbows, open the heart space, look up. Inhale, sweep the arms forward, rounding the upper back, chin to chest, palms together. Exhale, open the chest, bend the elbows, look up. Just checking my speaker. Let's do inhale, forward, rounding the spine, palms together. And exhale, open. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Inhale, reach up. And exhale, hands to heart. Inhale, bend the right knee and bring the right knee in towards the chest. Hands around the right knee, nice and tall through the spine. Bring the left hand to the outside of the right knee, right arm opening up. You can stay here or that left hand can inch down to the outside of the right foot, right foot going forward, floating in the air here, and chest is opening to the right. Now inhale, come forward with both arms, reach up, lift the right leg, strengthening through that right hip, left leg, take an inhale, exhale, bend the right knee, reach the right leg back, arms forward, coming into warrior three, Virabhadrasana three. Bring the arms alongside the body for aeroplane. Stay nice and lifted through the left leg, looking down with the gaze. Keep the right hip rolling underneath the body. Let's take an inhale. Bring the right knee into the chest. Reach the arms up. And set the right foot down, hands down alongside the body. Very good. So working with our balance. Inhale, pull the left knee into the chest. Hands around the left knee, nice and long through the spine. Bring the right hand to the outside of the left knee, left arm reaching back. Maybe the right hand inches down to the outside of the left foot, left foot goes forward. So not mandatory, the body might not want to go there today. My body is deciding it's opening now. <laughs> As I move slowly and softly, it's wanting to go a little bit further. So check in with yours how it's feeling. Bring both arms up. Keep the left leg lifted. Let's take an inhale. And exhale, bend the left knee, send the left foot back, arms forward, Virabhadrasana three. Keep the left hip rolling underneath the body, nice and strong through the arms. Take the hands alongside the body. Find your focal, your gaze down. Let's take an inhale, bend the left knee into the chest, reach the arms up. And set the left foot down, hands alongside the body. 
feet grounded, shut the eyes down for a moment. Check in with yourself. How is the body feeling? Just take an inhale, reach up. And exhale, bow down. Let's inhale, come up halfway. Exhale, fold. Come on to the tiptoes, bend the knees, sink the hips. And come down. Stretch the legs forward. Have a sip of tea. Pachimottanasana. Grab some couch cushions or blocks. You can pause the video if you need to. Sit up nice and tall through the spine. And exhale, slowly come forward. Keep the spine straight. And maybe you bring a couch cushion across the legs so you can rest the chest there, or maybe use blocks like I'm doing. And you find a place to rest the forehead, but keep the spine as straight as possible. And as we're here with time, maybe slowly, slowly, you go a little bit deeper into your Pachimottanasana. Some of you might go right down to the shins. Some of you might stay very much upright I encourage you to choose your own capacity. Peel the chest up, sit up nice and tall, bring the block off to the side. Bring the hands behind you, bend the knees, plant the feet and press the hips up, reverse tabletop. So opening into the shoulders and really strengthen through the thighs, push the hips up. And slowly lower the hips down. You can come on to the back. And you're going to want a block or a couch cushion, something with density, encyclopedia, that's going to hold your weight. Because we're going to press through the feet, lift the hips, and bring the block right at the sacrum. So long ways across the sacrum, supporting the lower back, let the arms relax. And maybe you could create space to lengthen the legs. You might have to roll around on the bolster or the block, the encyclopedia a little bit. And you might be able to extend the arms back behind you as well. So we're getting nice and long through the front body, the back body. And this compression at the sacrum, especially for those with any issues in the hips <clears throat> or the piriformis, this uh, tension that's created by the pressure that's going into the lower sacrum can relieve any stagnation there. And for some of you, this could be a bit too intense. You might want to re-bend the knees and plant the feet. But this is really helpful when we slowly, slowly go at our capacity to release any tension around the hips. Let's bend the knees, arms alongside the body, lift the hips, take the bolster, the block to the side, and pull the knees into the chest, rock from side to side, so wind, relieving pose, and also we're just giving a massage to the lower back that just had a bit of intensity there, that pooling of energy. <sighs> May we be soft with ourselves. 
Let the head relax, the shoulders. Let's take the inside of the feet or the outside child's pose, or happy baby, not child's pose, Ananda Balasana. So happy baby, which when you break down the Sanskrit here, it's Ananda Balasana, so it's bliss baby. I like that better. So for me, I've got lower back issues today. I'm gonna to take the fronts of my shins instead and let my feet come in a little bit. So for you, if you've also got some hip pain, if it's a little bit too intense to have the knees wide, then definitely care for yourself what you need. You can always come back to just holding the knees into the chest as well. And let's set the feet down. Move any props out of your way. And let the feet be close to the hips. Knees open a bit wide and let the knees drop to the right. Goal post, the arms open, look to the left. We get into a little passive twist. Back through center, knees to the left, look to the right. And back through center. <clears throat> Let the knees open up wide, the soles of the feet together. And you might be able to take opposite elbows up above. Supta Baddha Konasana, opening the heart space, opening the hips. So many of us hold tension in the heart and the shoulders and the hips. So this is a nice zap to kind of pulling the zipper down of the physical body, opening ourselves up, creating spaciousness. Back through center knees in <clears throat> arms alongside the body and take a block or your encyclopedia, something with some density. And we're gonna bring it underneath our back behind the head on the occipital ridge. So you're gonna find that little ridge. And if you don't have the perfect size block, it might be a bit challenging. So you could just lay here and relax. But if you do have a block, it's beautiful to just turn the head from side to side as the block edge touches that occipital ridge and this can help with any headaches, any tension in the neck. So just giving a little bit of love. Slowly, we take a mini Shavasana, remove the block, arms alongside the body, take up some spaciousness. And I'll leave us in Shavasana today. My voice will trail off in a few minutes. 
But my offering is if you want to stay here longer, pause the video and just melt into the earth. Allow the shoulders to relax the muscles in the face. And give yourself an opportunity to observe. Sometimes all that we need is just to lay close to the earth and to feel. So what do you need to feel right now? And feel the support of the, the back of the heart connected to the earth, being held here. And deep breaths in and out of the nostrils. Stay for as long as you need, maybe even bringing the hands somewhere onto the body that's needing some extra love and care. And I just want to thank you for being here. Thank you for showing up. Feel free to subscribe and come each week for the beautiful practices offered here by myself and other teachers. And you can find me in all the places, Our Echo, on my YouTube channel on Instagram, on Facebook, for retreats, one-on-ones, in person, online. And I wish you deep peace and slowness today. Namaste.